What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection or server issue you're currently having in beamng.drive. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to take your, sheet, your keyboard. You're gonna click the Windows and the R key at the same time. So once you click that, you should be able to see this little tab popping up. I want you to type in CMD and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you, see, you could see this little tab popping up. And what, what I want you to do is going to be to simply type in what I'm going to type in. So IP config space slash flush DNS. I'm really sorry, guys. Wait. So slash flush DNS and hit enter. So once it is successfully flushed, simply end the task. The next step is going to be to navigate to the very left bottom of your screen. You're going to click on the window symbol and open up your settings, navigating right onto network and internet and going to network and troubleshooter. Click on that and use windows in order to find every kind of issue. If nothing pops up, click on the network and sharing center, navigate to the top left corner where you're going to click on the change adapter settings. So the second link and afterwards stick right here and you're going to click onto either internet or ethernet. It just depends on which one you're currently using. You right click disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a while, so just wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to end this task and return back to your network sharing center. So let's wait a little bit and return back. Click into the blueprint text where it either says internet or ethernet. You're going to click into properties and hit internet protocol version 4. Well, I want you to enable use the following DNS server addresses and type in 4 times 8 at the top so the Google's DNS server address on the button 2 times 4 and 2 times 8. Afterwards, OK and apply. This should fix your issue, guys. I hope that it could actually help you out of this video. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.